Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, hello there. Hello, 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 hello. Lesson 19, Families of Parallel Lines and the Circumference of the Earth. Okay, classwork opening exercise says, show that x is to y as x prime is to y prime. So let's just start off by explaining what they're saying here. So let me go to a segment and I will color code it and make it thin. So they're saying x is to y. Let's make it red. So x is to y. So let's make, we're comparing, we're taking x this here, let's make it a little thicker. Uh, let's see, properties. Okay, there's that. So X is to Y. Okay as x prime is to y prime. So I'm going to use this, uh, a different shade of blue for these um, more. And let's use this one here. OK. I'm just trying to compare different blues and different reds. So more. And let's use, yeah, that'll work. OK. All right, so here's what we have for starters. We're trying to show that X is to Y as X prime is to Y prime. Blue is to red as blue is to red. Is equivalent to X is to X as Y is to Y, which would be blue is to blue as red is to red. Okay, so that's what we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove that it doesn't matter how we set up the proportion in other words. So it says to show that these are equivalent. So first thing we're going to do is write these proportions as fractions. So we can also write them like so. X is to Y as X prime is to Y prime. Now I'm going to multiply, cross multiply. X times Y prime will give me X Y prime. And then Let's see what color haven't I used. Multiplying this way, I'm going to get X prime Y. So I just cross multiply. So I have X Y prime equals X prime Y. Now if I divide both sides, so we're trying to get an X prime and a Y prime in the denominator because this is the denominator, the second half, and they both have primes. So I'm going to divide by x prime, y prime, both sides. These are still equivalent because what you do to one side, you can do to the other. So after I cross multiplied, I divided both sides by my denominator pieces that I'm looking for, x prime, y prime. And when I do that, watch what happens. The y y prime, I mean, over here, cancel. Anything divided by itself is one, leaving me with x over x prime. x prime divided by x prime cancels, and that leaves me with y over y prime. Well, that is the same as saying x is to x prime as y is to y prime, which is this. So we just show that just by multiplying, setting these up as fractions, cross multiplying, dividing by X prime, Y prime, the other items cancel and it shows that they are equivalent. Okay, so now exercise one and two. Exercise one's on this page, I'm assuming two is on the next. Lines that appear to be parallel are in fact parallel, okay? All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is mark parallelism. So this line appears to be parallel to this line, and this one does as well. 
where these diagonal lines obviously are not parallel to anything. They're crossing these three and they're not parallel to each other. They would eventually cross somewhere around here. So these three lines appear to be parallel. So it says lines that appear to be parallel are in fact parallel. Okay, they could have just given us our parallel symbols. So what they're trying to do is tell us, find X. So if I call this A and this B and this C and this D, then I can say A is to B as C is to D. Or from above, I could also say A is to C as B is to D. According to this proof up here that we just did, proof, mm. exercise, whatever. All right, so I'm going to plug in my givens. So A is 9, and I'm going to change it to fractions. A is to B is the same as A over B. 9 over 3 equals 12 over x. Okay. I can reduce this to a 3 and this to a 1. So 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3 and I get x equal to 4. Over here, if I do the same, a divided by c is 9 divided by 12 equals b divided by d, 3 divided by x. So notice they're not set up the same. Now we have the numerators that were over here as a fraction and the denominators as the other fraction. And then nine, 3 will go into 9 3 times, 3 will go into 12 4 times, and I get 3x equals 4 times 3, which is 12. Divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals 4. So either way, as you can see, we get the same value for x. All right, page two, number two. Hmm. Okay, so it's the same type of problem, really simple. So all we have to do is name, you can name these. Let's just call this A and this segment B, this segment C and this segment D. This line appears to be parallel to that one, appears to be parallel to that. So those are the three parallel lines. These are the two transversals. They will meet somewhere, oh, I don't know, over here somewhere. Um, so here's our setup. We can either say A is to C as B is to D, or A is to B as C is to D. So I'll substitute in my A, substitute in my C, B is 4.125, 4 and 1 eighth, and D is 5 and a half. Over here, it would be A over B equals C over D. So see how the setup is um, different? x over 2 here, x over 4.125, 4.125 over 5.52 over 5.5. So the numerator denominator became numerator numerator, numerator denominator became denominator denominator. Either way, it does not matter which way you set these up. I'll solve both ways. So I would cross multiply and get 5.5x equals 4.125 times 2 is 8. 0.25. Divide by 5.5, both sides, and I get x equals, these cancel, and let me get the calculator for this, 8.25 divided by 5.5, enter, and I get 1.5. Over here, I cross multiply and I will get 5.5x equals, and then 4.125 times two is 8.25. So notice that when we do this, our cross multiplication will give us the same numbers being multiplied to set up our equation. So this first equation here is the same as this one after cross multiplying. And we do the same step. Divide both sides by 5.5 and x equals 
positive. So either way, we get the same x. Okay, page three brings us to the end of this very short lesson, lesson 19. Review the lesson summary that there isn't. So don't review the lesson summary because there isn't one. <laughs> Just go to your problem set.